Right, hello everybody, this is uh, me again, I'm just basically going to show you the first of uh, my favourite alternative tools that are out there that uh, don't involve you spending money. Uh, in the past, I mean for the past 15 years or so, you've had Partition Magic, which was an awesome tool, um, the name of which, um, of the company I cannot remember, but wonderful bit of program. Um, however, it was a commercial tool, a bit expensive, you've got to buy it. Um, Basically, some guys come along and decided to rebuild the whole thing um, of his own version of it, uh, running on a, a Linux Live CD, and he's basically called it the Gnome Partition Editor, or uh, otherwise known as Gparted. Now, um, it's basically an ISO you can download off the internet. Instructions are in the comments if you want to get hold of it. Um, when you boot from the CD, this is the screen that it gives you. Basically, the first thing it gives you is a choice of what mode you want to run it in. Now. Uh, without overcomplicating it, it's based on a Linux um, shell, if you like. It runs on Linux, you boot it straight off your CD. Now, it doesn't change anything on your hard disk until you tell it to, you don't need to install it, but it runs off the, off the CD, basically. You need to choose what version you want to run. For example, you can run it with your default settings on. Uh, you can also run it in safe graphics mode, if it doesn't support your graphics card or if anyone else has anything else happens and you've got a fail safe mode which is basically if nothing works and you still can't get the thing to boot do that and it boots it with its minimum you know its minimum requirements now on this machine I'm running in a virtual machine so everything should work pretty much out of the box really so I'm going to run the default settings version of Gparted Live when I start the program going lots come up on the screen all these things flying past and this is basically the Linux operating system booting up now all of it that's happening here you can pretty much ignore because once the program starts it's going to give you a nice pretty interface that you can use with your mouse and point and click and all this. Now while this is loading um, one thing to remember although it is a Linux based disk you can use it to make partitions for any size for pretty much any operating system. If Linux supports it which it most likely does being that it supports pretty much everything on the market then you can make a partition for it. Now first thing it's come up with is basically asking me what key map I'm using. Now, if you're uh, American, you're in luck because the default is an American keyboard. I'm British, but the British keyboard is very, very similar to the United States, minus spot three keys. So I'm just going to don't touch the key map and start using their standard key map. Now, ask me what version I want to run, uh, what language even, beg your pardon. Brazilian, English, Bulgarian. I'm just going to push enter to accept the default, which is US English. But if you want, you can type in 02 to pick British English. Makes no difference, to be honest, with this software. Now, the last question it asks you is what type of X do you want to run? X being the desktop manager. Again, you can just get away with pushing enter to choose the default, which is to start automatically with its default settings. Now, right, here we go. Here's the software. It's all loaded up and it's given us a nice desktop to use. Looks very much like a standard Windows desktop, really, maybe slightly different. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to move this window so you can see it on your screen. Again, working just like a Windows desktop, you can pick up and drag around the, uh, the window as much as you like. Very easy to use. Anyway, let's, let's drag it so we can see it. Right. This basically is your hard disk in a long ribbon, if you like, in a long strip across the top, and you want to choose what you want to do with it. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make three partitions uh, for use for MS DOS, for Windows, you know, for general Microsoft use. Here we go, here's the drive. You can either click on it, click on the part of the drive you want, if you've got lots of parts, or you can click on the picture at the top. So, I'm going to right click on here and choose a new partition. First question is, how big do you want it to be? I'm going to take roughly 50% of the drive, so I'm just going to drag it, pick up the, the handle on the edge of here, and drag it to about there. It doesn't have to be exact. If you do want an exact size, you can type in exactly the size in megabytes. Now, I've made just a 100 meg small partition on this virtual machine. So let's call it 50 megs. Now, as soon as I click on anything else, so for example here, it will tell me how much space is remaining on the drive. 44 megs free, 50 megs will be used on this first partition. Now, we want to make it as a primary partition so we can boot from this drive and we can use it for standard use. In effect, you have a choice of a primary, logical, or extended, and I'll tell you about these two 
once we've created this. So the file system, you get a choice of anything you want. We're going to pick NTFS, standard Windows. Give it a label, and we'll call it, I don't know, what shall we call it? Drive 1, make it simple, and click Add. Anything else I've not covered on that screen, you don't really need to know anything about, to be honest. For standard use, if you don't know what it means, you're not going to really need it. Right, so now you see the graph at the top, the strip here, you've got your partition at the beginning here, with the green border, the colours will match that, and then you've got the rest of the space, which is unallocated. Again, if you wanted, you can either click on the picture, or you can click on the, uh, on the description underneath. Now, what we want to do is make two partitions in this unallocated space. Now, the way that this is done is that we want to make a new partition here, so right click and select new. And what we want to do, we want to use 100% of the remaining space. So this is all the remaining space here, and it's stretched as wide as it can go to cover 100%. For example, you can see there. Now, this partition, we don't want to make a primary, type, primary partition, because we already have one. So we're going to select extended. And what this will let us do is put more partitions on the remaining space. Now, we won't need a label for this, and you'll see why in a second. So let's create that. And you'll see what this has done. This has made basically a container, if you like, to put the rest of your partitions in. So the first partition, as a general rule, will be by itself, and all the uh, all the extra partitions afterwards will be inside a container, if you want to call it that. So inside partition two, we have about 47 megs of unallocated space. So right-click on there and make a new partition. Again, this is all the blank space we've got at the top on the drive. You can pick it up and drag it to choose what you want, or you can type in the uh, the amount of megabytes that you want for the partition. So we're going to call this 20 megs, and just click in there, and it will tell me I've got 27 free. Great. Now, this partition is a logical partition inside the extended. Remember how I was saying the extended partition is like a, just a container to contain everything else, and it contains logical partitions. So I'm going to select that and we're going to make it an NTFS drive again so it's suitable for use with Windows and I'm going to call this Drive 2 and we click Add <coughs> excuse me and there we go so with this green border in here you see you've got an NTFS drive inside sorry an NTFS partition inside an extended partition and again we've got an allocated space so we're just going to right click on it, select new and pretty much repeat everything that we've done twice before so we're going to use 100% of the space so we'll leave that on full it's a logical partition as it'll sit, it'll sit inside the extended and we're going to make it NTFS and this we're going to call drive 3 now add and that's basically how the hard drive is going to be laid out now we've made no changes so far all we've done is told the machine what we want, what we want to do with it. So we've got to apply the changes next. Now because I'm running on quite a small screen here the button I'm looking for is dropped off the end but it's called apply obviously just like on Windows to apply settings you click it. Right, obvious things out of the way first this is going to wipe the drive clean. <clears throat> you got the entire 100% of your drive here clean partition, clean partition clean partition and they're all going to be completely empty so this is basically just to show do you really know what you're doing don't mess anything up back up any data that you've got before proceeding now to be honest you can do this with data on the drives but it's not recommended because there's a very good chance that you'll lose it so we know, we know what we're doing so we're going to push apply and go for it and it shoots on ahead and does it and that's basically done it that's written, written on the drive all of the settings. Now if we move this up and click on details, there are the four, the four things that it's done. It's created the uh, the primary partition on the drive and the extended and then created two logical partitions inside it. Step one, two, three and four. Now if you're really bothered you can click on the little arrows on the side and see the details to everything that it's done. But to be honest to the normal user you're not going to need it. If there's an error it will make it obvious and show you and highlight it for you. So that's all successfully completed as indicated here, so we're going to click close. And there we go, we can see that the drives are now white as they have been uh, allocated 
they've been allocated with space and that's all there is to it well done you've partitioned your first drive with your primary partition here extended partition here and two logicals inside it so to use your drive basically quit the program and then you quit the system so you double click on exit and then you can click on shut down and then OK and that's basically your hard drive redone everything that you wanted to do has all been done within that piece of software and we've paid nothing you've bought nothing you've just downloaded a free ISO which is available uh, through open source and that's through sourceforge.net the latest version will probably be different to the one I've just used but this is the most recent that I've had on disk already and there we go you've got it you've partitioned your drive go for it go ahead and install your operating system